CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 5 Elementary Shapes Page 106 Part 4 Exercise 5.7 1. Say true or false. A. Each angle of a rectangle is a right angle. B. The opposite sides of a rectangle are equal in length. C. The diagonals of a square are perpendicular to one another. D. All the sides of a rhombus are of equal length. E. All the sides of a parallelogram are of equal length. F. The opposite sides of a trapezium are parallel. 2. Give reasons for the following. A. A square can be thought of as a special rectangle. B. A rectangle can be thought of as a special parallelogram. C. A square can be thought of as a special rhombus. D. Squares, rectangles, parallelograms are all quadrilaterals. E. Square is also a parallelogram. 3. A figure is said to be regular if its sides are equal in length and angles are equal in measure. Can you identify the regular quadrilateral? 5.9. Polygons. So far you studied polygons of three or four sides, known as triangles and quadrilaterals respectively. We now try to extend the idea of polygon to figures with more number of sides. We may classify polygons according to the number of their sides. Page 107 We have a table given here. Column 1, number of sides. Column 2, name. Column 3, illustration. Number of sides, 3. Name, triangle. We have the illustration. Number of sides, 4. Quadrilateral, illustration. Number of sides, 5. Pentagon, illustration. Number of sides, 6. Hexagon, illustration. Number of sides, 8. Octagon. Illustration. You can find many of these shapes in everyday life. Windows, doors, walls, almirahs, blackboards, notebooks are all usually rectangular in shape. Floor tiles are rectangles. The sturdy nature of a triangle makes it the most useful shape in engineering constructions. We have three different figures showing the use of different shapes. The first one tells about the triangle finds application in constructions. The last figure tells us that a bee knows the usefulness of a hexagonal shape in building its house. Look around and see where you can find all these shapes. Page 108 Exercise 5.8 1. Examine whether the following are polygons. If any one among them is not, say why. We have four different figures given here, A, B, C, D. 2. Name each polygon. We have again four different figures, A, B, C, D. Make two more examples of each of these. 3. Draw a rough sketch of a regular hexagon. Connecting any three of its vertices, draw a triangle. Identify the type of the triangle you have drawn. 4. Draw a rough sketch of a regular octagon. Use squared paper if you wish. Draw a rectangle by joining exactly four of the vertices of the octagon. 5. A diagonal is a line segment that joins any two vertices of the polygon and is not a side of the polygon. Draw a rough sketch of a pentagon and draw its diagonals. 5.10 Three-dimensional shapes Here are a few shapes you see in your day-to-day -day life. Each shape is a solid. It is not a flat shape. We have six different shapes given here. Shape 1 
the ball is a sphere. 2. The ice cream is in the form of a cone. 3. This can is a cylinder. 4. The box is a cuboid. 5. The playing dice is a cube. 6. This is the shape of a pyramid. Page 109. Name any five things which resemble a sphere. Name any five things which resemble a cone. Faces, edges and vertices. In case of many three-dimensional shapes, we can distinctly identify their faces, edges and vertices. What do we mean by these terms? Face, edge and vertex? Note, vertices is the plural form of vertex. Consider a cube, for example. Each side of the cube is a flat surface called a flat face or simply a face. Two faces meet at a line segment called an edge. Three edges meet at a point called a vertex. These concepts are shown with the help of three figures here. Here is a diagram of a prism. Have you seen it in the laboratory? One of its faces is a triangle, so it is called a triangular prism. The triangular face is also known as its base. A prism has two identical bases. The other faces are rectangles. If the prism has a rectangular base, it is a rectangular prism. Can you recall another name for a rectangular prism? A pyramid is a shape with a single base. The other faces are triangles. Here is a square pyramid. Its base is a square. Can you imagine a triangular pyramid? Attempt a rough sketch of it. We have three more figures here. The cylinder, the cone and the sphere have no straight edges. What is the base of a cone? Is it a circle? The cylinder has two bases. What shapes are they? Of course, a sphere has no flat faces. Think about it. Page 110. Do this. 1. A cuboid looks like a rectangular box. It has six faces. Each face has four edges. Each face has four corners, called vertices. We have a figure of a cuboid. 2. A cube is a cuboid whose edges are all of equal length. It has dash faces. Each face has dash edges. Each face has dash vertices. We have the figure of a cube here. 3. A triangular pyramid has a triangle as its base. It is also known as a tetrahedron. Faces, dash, edges, dash, corners, dash. We have the figure of a triangular pyramid given here. 4. A square pyramid has a square as its base. We have the figure given here. Faces, dash, edges, dash, Corners dash. 5. A triangular prism looks like the shape of a kaleidoscope. It has triangles as its bases. We have the figure given here. Faces dash, edges dash, corners dash. Page 111. Exercise 5.9. 1. Match the following. A. Cone, B. Sphere, C. Cylinder, D. Cuboid, E. Pyramid. We have five different shapes given here as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 options. Give two new examples of each shape. 2. What shape is A. Your instrument box, B. A brick, C. A matchbox, D. A road roller. E. A sweet laddu. 
what have we discussed? 1. The distance between the endpoints of a line segment is its length. 2. A graduated ruler and the divider are useful to compare lengths of line segments. 3. When a hand of a clock moves from one position to another position, we have an example for an angle. One full turn of the hand is one revolution. A right angle is one fourth revolution and a straight angle is half a revolution. We use a protractor to measure the size of an angle in degrees. The measure of a right angle is 90 degrees and hence that of a straight angle is 180 degrees. An angle is acute if its measure is smaller than that of a right angle and is obtuse if its measure is greater than that of a right angle and less than a straight angle. A reflex angle is larger than a straight angle. Page 112 4. Two intersecting lines are perpendicular if the angle between them is 90 degrees. 5. The perpendicular bisector of a line segment is a perpendicular to the line segment that divides it into two equal parts. 6. Triangles can be classified as follows based on their angles. Nature of angles in the triangle? Name. Each angle is acute, acute angled triangle. One angle is a right angle, right angled triangle. One angle is obtuse, obtuse angled triangle. 7. Triangles can be classified as follows based on the lengths of their sides. Nature of sides in the triangle? Name. All the three sides are of unequal length. Scale in triangle. Any two of the sides are of equal length? Isosceles triangle. All the three sides are of equal length? Equilateral triangle. 8. Polygons are named based on their sides. Number of sides, name of the polygon. 3. Triangle. 4. Quadrilateral. 5. Pentagon. 6. Hexagon. 8. Octagon. 9. Quadrilaterals are further classified with reference to their properties. Properties, name of the quadrilateral. One pair of parallel sides, trapezium. Two pairs of parallel sides, parallelogram. Parallelogram with four right angles, rectangle. Parallelogram with four sides of equal length, rhombus. A rhombus with four right angles, square. 10. We see around us many three-dimensional shapes. Cubes, cuboids, spheres, cylinders, cones, prisms, and pyramids are some of them. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6. Narrator Gaurav Marva. Assistance in Production Soumya Malik. Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary. Presented by CIET NCERT, New Delhi, India.